How's it going guys? Anxious Cynic back again with another Minimator tip. So something you guys have been asking is how do you save a rig and stuff? So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how you can save a rig and have it downloadable for other people to enjoy. So what you can see here is I just have a, a stone. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and spawn in a couple of other random blocks just to give you the idea of what we're going to be doing here so we'll do that and we'll get cobblestone all right so let's just say this is our rig and what i want to do is scale this one down scale this one down and now we want to parent these to our stone if you watch any of my rigging tutorials and hopefully more in the future then uh you'll know what i'm doing here so now we've got these two blocks parented to our stone so when we move it then you have these and let's just say for whatever reason that is my rig. I want to be able to save this so when people download it, they're going to go up here and they're going to import it. And when they import this stone, it's going to bring in this exact assembl assembly of uh, these blocks here. So all I have to do is with this selected. So one thing of note here, by the way, is when you select the stone or when you have it set up however you have it in your project i'm pretty sure is how it's going to show up when other people open it so just you know as a little note if you don't want it to uh come into their project already expanded you should go ahead and hit that little arrow to bring it up or if you want it to be expanded do like that and then whatever you have it i'm pretty sure is how it will appear when when they do it so usually for me i'll just have it collapsed and you're going to go down here. Let's go all the way zoomed in. Right there, that little button, Save Selected Objects. So when you click that, then this comes up. And you can see that it's an object file. And you can name it. And when you save it, it's going to save it as an object file. And just to give you guys an example. All right, guys. So this is my 3D bow and arrow rig. And what you will see here is... I've got the 3D arrow rig and the 3D bow rig, and you can tell that they're both .object files. Now, unlike the little basic rig that I showed you in Minimator here, these actually have custom textures and stuff, so you can see that when I saved that object file, I saved it to its own folder because I know there's going to be multiple files with it. When I click Save Object, it saves everything that composes that, uh, that object, that rig or whatever. Uh, if you're doing like this, the basic one that I showed, it's just the textures with Minecraft, so you will only have the object file. But if you're doing a more advanced rig that uses custom items, which I recommend you watch my custom items tutorial if you haven't already, or my basic rigging tutorial, uh, you'll have custom textures in, or item sheets or whatever. And when you click that save icon down there, it will save all of these with it. So I recommend having a folder set up and ready to go so it'll contain all of those files. And then you can make a zip folder. Uh, for instance, if I right click, go to new, compress zip folder, and give it a name like that. And then I can copy all of these files and then copy them into the zip folder and then upload that zip folder with all those files. If you don't have multiple files, if it's just an object file, then you don't need to do the zip folder thing, okay? But if you have multiple files, that way you can have them download one file and then extract it and have everything they need for their rig. But basically, you'll just take that, whether it's your object file or a zip folder with object files and textures or whatever is related to your rig. You'll take that and upload it somewhere like Google Drive or a lot of people use, uh, what is it, Mega Upload or something like that. Anyway, you upload that there and give people the link and then they can download it and then they can either just have the object file. Once again, if it's a basic rig with just Minecraft textures or they can uh, download the zip you know, extract all and then import that object file simply by going into Minimator and clicking this button here. And then they would find the rig wherever it's located and they would click on the object file, click open, and there it is. There's the, the bow rig that I made. Anyway, hope that was helpful, guys. And that way you can make your own rigs and share them with people and all kinds of good stuff. So I hope that was helpful. Hope this tip gets you on your way. Thanks for watching. As always, if this was helpful to you, if you enjoyed this video, then feel free to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe to become a citizen today. Share it with your friends and your family and your pets, and I will see you in the next video.